Hi, I'm Hazel, and today we're looking at how to unlock the hidden pets of the BFA pet vendors. This expansion brought tons of awesome pets to new vendors in exchange for pet charms, but not all of those pets appear on the vendor right away. We're going to look at the various pet vendors of BFA and how to unlock every item they sell. Think of it as an updated version of that one video that I did that one time. Quick note before we jump in, some of the BFA reputations have a pet available at Revered, which you can buy at that rep's emissary. Those aren't hidden, it's just get to Revered and buy the pet. No surprises there, so that's all we'll say about that. Our first vendor is Happy Halawa. It's an adorable troll child in a dire horn, and you can find her here on the very lowest level of Dazar lore on the northeastern side. She's got four pets for sale to begin with, and then three more that you can unlock. Complete the quest Lil Tika to add Lil Tika to the vendor. It's a horde-only quest, and you can pick it up here in Zuldazar with no prerequisites needed. A few days after you turn the quest in, you'll get mail about Tika, but you don't need to wait for the letter. The pet should appear on Halawa as soon as you finish the quest. And that'll be 200 pet charms for that raptor that you just rescued. Lil Benfon is the second unlock, and for this guy you need to complete the Brutosaurs in Love horde quest chain in Zuldazar. It starts here with Monstrous Matchmaker and finishes with the head of her enemy. After you finish that, you'll find Lil Benfon on the vendor for 300 pet charms. For the third unlock, you'll need to do an achievement. Complete Get Hecked to unlock the Child of Johnny on the vendor. The short version of that achievement is unlock Johnny and then either do the quests or turn in items at the 12 mysterious trash piles across Zoldazar. For the long version with the actually useful details, there is a written guide in a wowhead comment by Varen that I'll link down below. The child of Johnny will appear on the vendor for the character that you did the achievement on. Conveniently, Halawa is actually friendly to both factions and isn't that hard to get to for Alliance. If you do get hecked on your ally character, you can still get up there and buy the pet. The other two unlocks do require Horde-specific quests though, so the only way for Alliance to get those is either a Horde alt or the Auction House. All this stuff is cageable. Our next vendor is Dana Pull, our resident Boralis pet shop owner. Him and his unlocks are Alliance only. You can find his store in Hook Point, which is kind of an awkward area to get to. I like to fly to the Proud of Marquee Flight Point and then just run straight north right across the water. He initially doesn't have any pets, but there are two you can unlock. Complete Rodrigo's Revenge to unlock the Great Wing Macaw Feather. That one is the very memorable Alliance quest down near Freehold where you fly a parrot around and poop on pirates. It's halfway through an optional bit of the Freehold side quest chain in Tear Guard Sound for Alliance, which you can start after finishing the whole castaway business. The second unlock is the Mechanical Prairie Dog learned from the strange looking mechanical squirrel. For that one, you'll need to complete the Inspection Gadget quest, which is at the end of the whole gnomish hot spring resort thing with the selfies and the junkyard and whatever. You can start that quest line anytime you like by seeing lead guide zip wrench here at the Southwind Station with an explosive opportunity. Next up, we have Jano out here in Voldoon, and he'll talk to both Horde and Alliance. To unlock the Renishu Runt on this vendor though, you'll need to do some Horde-only quests. Those start with the Lost Flute out here. Pick that up and follow that quest line for a bit until you've done charging the batteries. As a bonus, you'll get the Guardian Cobra Hatchling along the way. After you've charged the batteries, run north to see Omi up here and do Renishu our resources, after which point you can buy the runt off of Jano. There are conflicting reports about what you do and don't need to unlock this one, but I can at least say that doing this worked for me. Jano can also sell the violent looking flower pot if you complete Reina's little gardening questline. Horde can start that with Reina's wrench here and help her until you've turned in the source of the problem. Alliance don't need to worry about that since they can buy the flower pot directly off a of vendor. Next is Madeline Netley for the Alliance over here in Stormsong Valley. She's the one that sells the flower pot to Alliance with no quest needed. All of her goods are ready to go up front, no funny unlocking business here. Our next pet vendor is Shok, and not only does he have items to unlock, the poor guy needs to be unlocked himself. Free Shok from the Blood Troll through a short quest line that begins here at Kajosh in Nazmir. This can be done by either faction, but only Horde characters can unlock everything that he has to offer. After you rescue him, Shok will appear at Gloom Hollow. He's got a Blood Feaster Larva and Crimson Frog, and then two more things that you can uncover. For the Accursed Hexer, heroes of either faction can complete an Ancient Curse. You pick that up anytime you like from the Ancient Tablet over here in Nazmir. To complete it, light the five braziers around the ruins and then kill the rare that spawns. You probably don't need a group. Once you're done that, you can buy the Accursed Hexer off Shok for 500 Polished Pet Charms. For the Toad in a Box, you need to do the Horde side quests Cragwaz Chosen and Vengeance of the Frogs. Those only become available at the end of the Cragwa quest line, so you need to be about halfway through the zone story first. Once the zone quests bring you to Gloom Hollow, investigate the Frog Marsh with Staying Hidden and then continue that line. The quests you need will begin up here on the northern beach of Frogland. After you turn those in, you'll be able to pick up the Swamp Toad from Shoke for 200 pet charms. Another Nazmir vendor is Blind Wanja, who sells some of the same items as Shoke. Nothing that she sells is exclusive to her, so you can skip this one if you want. Alliance and Horde players can both shop with her in her cave, found here. 
Next up is Nigel Rifthold. Like Shoke, you'll need to unlock him before you can buy anything, and he's available to both factions. To get Nigel, buy 10 gourmet chocolates from Jinjin Sweet Flower here in any port, or Golcata out here at the Scale Trader Post. If you have Tortolan Rep, buy it from the Turtle for the Rep discount. Take those to the Treehouse in Drustvar here, loot the chest inside twice, and then Nigel will appear as a vendor outside of the entrance. Oddly enough, you actually don't need to do the Rescue Nigel quest for this. He'll sell a Crimson Frog and a Spider right away, with three more things waiting to be unlocked. Either faction can kill the Cottontail Matron Rare mob here in order to unlock the Bloody Rabbit Fang on the vendor, which teaches the Frenzied Cottontail. Both factions can also unlock Smoochums by doing the Creepy Little Girl questline. Start that one with Abby Lewis south of Fallhaven with Teddies and Tea, and keep going until you are thoroughly disturbed. There's only four quests, it should finish with Tea Party. Third, for the Drustvar Piglet, you'll need an Alliance character to complete the Carver's Harbor questline. You can start that one with To Market, To Market, which is available here in Fallhaven after freeing the village in the early Drustvar quests. The pet unlocks after completing Cured Ham. The nice thing about most of the quests that unlock pets is that they aren't super out of the way. You might have a bunch of them done just by normal leveling. The downside is almost all of these pets are learned at green quality, so you'll need upgrade stones to get them to rare. And the last vendors to talk about are Dodger and Ollie, which are the cross-faction pet smugglers. Dodger sells to the Alliance, while the Horde deal with Ollie. To unlock yours, you'll need to get a shady message. The bad news is that's a random drop that could happen when you win a PvP pet battle. Using the item gives you a mission that expires after 12 hours, so don't use it until you've got some dudes ready to go. Succeeding the mission will unlock the vendor. The whole idea is to allow single faction players to buy cross-faction pets, but it's not exactly what you want it to be. Some of the Horde-specific pets are missing from Dodger, and a few of the available pets are already available to everyone, since Nigel, Shoke, Jano, Halawa, and Wanjo will all sell to anybody. My recommendation is just don't even worry about these guys, and either buy the caged pets on the auction house, or just level a cross-faction alt. And those are the hidden pets. Every last one of them is cageable, so if any of this looks like too much work, you can bypass it with gold. Inversely, you can make very good gold from your pet charms by buying the hidden and faction-specific pets and putting them on the auction house. Lil Benfawn in particular is a unique, faction-specific unlock that is not on the smuggler, so sell those. You're the smuggler now. And that's it! Thanks for watching! Let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day! Bye!